as we enter the euphoria stage of this Bitcoin bull market, we can use data to mathematically predict where the cycle peak may be. And it's a lot higher than most people are expecting. So we'll get right into it here on the Bitcoin cycle master chart we have here on BitcoinMagazinePro.com. Now this has been one of, if not the most accurate tool for actually predicting the Bitcoin cycle peaks throughout their entire history of BTC. We can see it's determined by the cycle lows, undervalued fair market, aggressively valued and this overvalued line. Now what we can see is this has, as I said, throughout all of Bitcoin's history, very, very accurately predicted the price of the Bitcoin market cycle peak. Even in the previous cycle where we had the double top cycle, the rounded peak, it still surpassed the price action, surpassed this overvalued line, which is actually formulated by a number of different on-chain metrics in combination to actually give us almost an underlying network value fundamental fair valuation for Bitcoin being under overvalued, sorry, not really a fair valuation of its overvalue. But what we can see is if I just zoom right in, this is currently sitting at around $260,000. As we see Bitcoin today climbing to new all-time highs, we would require still a 2x to get anywhere close to this level. So it may be worth taking into account this aggressively valued line as well, which again, if we zoom out, we can see has definitely outlined Bitcoin's most euphoric stages when we're getting definitely overheated and towards the tail end of a Bitcoin bull cycle. And if we just look at the current cycle so far, we can actually see we've got fairly close to this level on a number of different occasions. When we first passed 70K and first passed 100K, we can see this was pretty close to where Bitcoin actually had these big retracements. So definitely another level to watch, which is currently at around $162,000. But I wanted to come up with a better way to actually try and to predict the market cycle peak. So what I'm looking at is the short term holder MVRV. Now this is taking into account the realized price or the cost basis for new market participants. If I just zoom in, it's this orange line here, which as I film this is about $113,500. Pretty much exactly where we bounced from. We did slightly weak beneath it for a couple of days, but pretty much exactly where we bounced from in the local low move we just set in the past week or two. And we can see throughout the history of Bitcoin, this pretty much acted as a level of moving support during bull markets and resistance during bear markets, especially here during 2017. What we can see on this MVRV ratio, it's essentially just dividing the price by this realized price. We can see when this is at a value of one, they're one and the same. When this is at a value of say two, it indicates that the price or market cap is twice that of the average accumulation price of new market participants. What we can see, especially if we zoom in over the most recent two cycles, there's definitely levels of interest that we can be watching on this metric. In the previous cycle, we had three different instances where the MVRV of the short-term holders went to about 1.74, 1.73, 1.75, and as this is just really outlining the unrealized profit of new market participants, we can see there's points where euphoria is pretty typical, where we can see almost a guaranteed correction occurring due to the fact that new market participants are coming in, taking screenshots of how much profit they've made, choosing the color of their new Lamborghini. So there's a lot of similarities in actually when this MVRV has these big tops. What I'll do is just go over to trading view. What we can see looking at this is again, Bitcoin has these periods where we're very much above this short-term holder realized price. And again, at very similar levels. What I'd like to do is take this a step further. Rather than looking at typical peaks that we see, 1.4, 1.7, etc. What I've added here is a distribution curve. Now, what this does is it tells us the percentage of days in which a data point was at a certain value. So for example, if I just scroll right in all the way here, and this is localized to just the two previous cycles and this one as well, we can see that this averages around 1.128. So throughout the past few years, 10 years or so for Bitcoin, the average ratio between the short-term holder realized price and the underlying price of Bitcoin has been slightly above one, which makes sense. Bitcoin's gone from a few hundred dollars to over a hundred thousand dollars. But what we can do is if we zoom right in, we can see that the 95th percentile, which might be a little bit hard for you to see, is at 1.718. So at a value of 1.718 on this MVRV short-term holder ratio, only 5% of days have values above that point. So that's a pretty good indication that the market is getting incredibly overheated when only 5% of history typically occurs with that level of discrepancy from price to the ratio. But rather than just looking at that, I've added the 90th percentile and the 85th percentile as well to give us these target ranges, these bands that we can look towards on the Bitcoin price. So what I'll do is I'll just add these onto the chart here, upper bands one, two, and three. 
And what we can see is if I just scroll back throughout the history of Bitcoin, even during this cycle, we've had multiple instances where prices come up to these levels and had a big retracement following that. The peak in the last cycle, obviously we slightly extended above this, but the double peak that we saw pretty much topped out at this exact band level. All the way throughout Bitcoin's history, these have been incredibly important levels to be watching for the Bitcoin price action which again, makes sense. On-chain data is just mass psychology quantified. And if at about 40, 50, 70% short-term holders start to get a little bit euphoric, a little bit overly greedy, then it makes sense that we're gonna have a little bit of a correction at that point in time. But what I can do is take this a step further once more. So we can see as I just zoom in on price action now that the bottom one is currently at $156,000, the second level at 168,000, and that upper level where we'd probably anticipate a major blow off peak for Bitcoin, currently at $192,000. But you have to keep in mind, these are moving levels, moving targets. As new data is coming in every single day, these values are changing. So what we can do is take a projection based on their current slope or the current trend of these lines to actually give us an idea of where they may end up towards the tail end of 2025. Now, again, this isn't exact science. They're gonna move slightly more, slightly less than this on a day-by-day -day basis. But judging by the latest trend of the previous quarter, which is the data that I've been using for this, we can see that the short-term holder realized price by the end of 2025 will be at somewhere around $130,000 if this trend continues. And given the ratios that we've seen within the MVRV ratio of the short-term holders, this would put this first band at $180,000, the second at $195,000, and the top one at $220,000. So may seem optimistic, these targets, but you have to keep in mind, Bitcoin in this cycle already has had a number of very exponential run-ups. If we just take from when we first passed $100,000, for example, we can overlay that onto the price action here. And this aligns pretty much perfectly with Bitcoin reaching about $220,000 before the end of the year. But what we can do is again, take this a step further, which you know I love to do. What we can do is add in the MVRV bands. Now, this is something we covered in our previous mathematically predicting video. So if you haven't seen that already, I definitely recommend checking it out. But what we can see looking at the MVRV bands and different multiples of this. So very quickly, just to give you a brief introduction into how we're actually doing this. What we can see by looking at the raw MVRV value rather than the MVRV Z score is again, we have these very typical levels where Bitcoin has these either local peaks or potentially major peaks that we see throughout the Bitcoin cycles. And these are occurring at pretty set intervals. So we can see the MVRV here is about 2.7, 2.8. Up here, it's about four, just underneath that. In the previous cycle, it reached a value of 4.72, nearly five. In the previous cycles, it reached values of close to six. So if I just go back to trading view here, all we're doing is multiplying this raw MVRV value, which is the exact MVRV value for this metric by multiple different values. And what we can see recently, Bitcoin bounced practically perfectly from this yellow level, which is the MVRV Z score multiplied by two, not the Z score, just the MVRV. What we can do is again, a very similar analysis. If we just zoom out and again, assume a very constant rate of change in this overall realized price and the ratio beyond that for Bitcoin, which again, isn't exactly how things are gonna play out, but gives us a good indication based on the current trend, then the MVRV towards the market cycle peak could be somewhere around $60,000, this blue line here, and the two level $120,000. But we wanna be looking at the upper targets because we can see in our all of Bitcoin cycles, we've reached these upper levels. In 2021, we reached this 4X level. In the previous one, we reached this five level. In the previous one beyond that, we reached the six X level. So in this cycle, potentially the three X level is where we need to be watching, which is this orange line here, which you'll also notice is aligning at $180,000. So if I add the short-term holder MVRV back on here, again, we get some confluence of a potential price target for Bitcoin right around here, which is 180 to say $182,000, which is a very good indication given the fact that we have multiple metrics currently pointing towards that based on the current data trend that that could be a cycle peak price for Bitcoin. But we can take this one step further again. What I can do is if I just zoom out and then look at the 200 weekly moving average heat map for Bitcoin. What we can see as the Bitcoin 200 weekly moving average crosses its previous all time high, this is exactly when the Bitcoin price action has peaked. So what we can do, because many people are looking towards a big blow off top in Q4 for this year, which I'm kind of leaning towards, but there is the argument to be made that Bitcoin supply and demand economics have changed. Potentially, we'll see a lengthening cycle due to the institutional demand, the ETF inflows, these treasury companies buying tens and hundreds of thousands of Bitcoin. 
what we can do is look at the current slope or trend of the 200 weekly moving average and see when that would cross our current, well, our previous cycle all time high. And what we can see is this is currently on trend to cross that previous cycle high around $68,000, $69,000 in the mid of 2026, to be specific, the 10th of August, 2026. Now, what we can do is take the current trend of our Embraer VZ score, our short term holder realized price, and see the where that actually projects us to be in mid 2026 if we are to have a lengthening cycle. Now, what we can see here is a little bit messy, granted, but if I just zoom in, what we can see is the current short term holder realized price at that time will be around $175,000. But what we're actually seeing is these upper levels of confluence. The MVRV bands red line here, which is the 4x multiple of the MVRV, is converging with this upper short term holder realized MVRV upper band, about 1.71, at around $300,000. So if we are to have a lengthening cycle, this could result in a considerably higher price for Bitcoin. Now, of course, I don't think this is actually the base case, but it is interesting to note that once again, we do have some confluence between metrics. But once again, once again, we're taking this another step further. What I can do is look at the cycle master chart, because again, we can kind of map out the trend of how this is playing out as well. So what I can do is go to the Bitcoin Magazine Pro API, or in this instance, I just use the CSV data download button we have here. And what I can do is after going through all of this data, we can just take, again, the slope, the trend of the previous 90 days of price action, the previous quarter of price action, and actually project how these cycle master overvalued and aggressively valued lines are currently pointing. So we can see, as I look at this now, that the overvalued line for the cycle master by the end of this year is going to trend towards $176,000 really close to that $180,000 confluence we had from the MVRV bands at the level we anticipate to top out at and the short term holder realized price once we get to that 10% of overvalued day. $180,000 is probably my base case for where this market cycle will top out. But if we take it a step further, we look at the overvalued, which by the end of the year, which is on trend to reach about $283,000. But this is assuming we do top out before 2026. What if we have a lengthening cycle? So I can go down here, grab all of the data and just do a big drag down to the bottom here. And then we can see how it would look if we were to see these trends continue into mid 2026. So I'll go all the way back up here and we can see if I scroll across, once again, we can see a few points of confluence. The overvalued line is currently pointing towards about $210,000, so slightly higher. But this aggressively valued line is actually pointing towards somewhere around $340,000. So not exactly the same points as what we looked to on TradingView. But if we go to this very overvalued band here, we can see that this is around $350,000. So I definitely don't think that this is my base case to have a lengthening cycle and a Bitcoin price section top of over $300,000. But if we do see a Bitcoin strategic reserve, if we do see capital rotation from other markets like gold and equities, which have just been tearing up to new all time highs, Bitcoin is still a relatively small asset class. We're only about $2.5 trillion. If only about 5% of the capital inflows that have gone into gold since 2024 come into Bitcoin, then our market cap could double, which is already about $250,000. So what's another $100,000 in price between friends? So just to summarize, predicting the exact Bitcoin bull market peak is impossible. There are just too many variables to account for. Of course, if we have a Bitcoin strategic reserve and a million Bitcoin are bought by the US, then all bets are kind of off. There are just too many variables to account for. Again, if we have a global recession, then maybe we start looking where the Bitcoin bear cycle bottom would be before we start looking to 200,000 plus dollars. But what we can see is looking at typical patterns of investor behavior. It does give us a seemingly fairly reliable insight into where and potentially when the BTC price is definitely getting overheated, especially when looking at Bitcoin is in that kind of 10% most overvalued days. This is just a very typical point to be looking towards. This isn't something that's necessarily overfitted or just attuned to the current market conditions. This has been a constant throughout the entire history of Bitcoin for new market participants to get overly greedy, overly bullish when Bitcoin is getting towards these cycle peaks. And we can actually quantify that data. And when we look at both the short term and standard MVRV, as well as the cycle master chart, Projecting based on our current data, which I will say isn't going to be 100% accurate, of course not, the data is changing every single day, but it is interesting to note we do get some confluence for a potential price action peak around $180,000 before 2026. But if we are to see a lengthening cycle, if we are to see Bitcoin do something crazy and go beyond where every analyst is predicting, then 
maybe somewhere above $300,000 is a possibility. But as I always like to say, it's much better to react than predict. And as always, please let me know your thoughts below in the comments and on social media. If you like the resources we checked, we discussed today, sorry, then check out Bitcoin Magazine Pro, your number one source for Bitcoin analysis, where you get the trading view indicators, the API access, industry reports, and a whole lot more for a fraction of the standard industry price. And as always, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.